Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to the start of my Bar City Lower League Management playthrough for Football Manager 2015. For those of you that were around in FM14, you would have known that I did this save. It was probably my best series in terms of views, not specifically on videos, but the actual playlist itself where it had over 100 episodes that I did in this series. And yeah, because of that reason, it's my biggest series on YouTube. Uh, that I've done so far, and I feel as though it's kind of unfinished business, but also I really like Bar City now, and I'm probably going to do a save with them every year, especially as I intend uh, to do YouTube on this channel as uh, like, as long as it's possible, really. So, yeah, Bar City is, uh, is my team. <laughs> They're my team now. I really have grown to love them uh, because of that series. It's amazing that Football Manager can do that, but there's something else I wanted to say. I almost, I was so close to starting with face cam, uh, doing for this series, but um, you got to take, like for me, doing videos, I have to take into account all different things, all different factors. I've actually done face cam a few times, uh, but yeah, for new subscribers, you probably wouldn't have seen them. I remember doing like Fever 13, I think a couple times in Fever 14 as well, uh, but yeah, uh, taking into con consideration um, the things that happened when I did those and uh, other considerations uh, that I'm taking into account now, it's probably best for all interests uh, that I don't do that, and I just feel more comfortable as well not doing that. It just And the reason why I started my channel as well, just a whole mix of different things. It's not one thing specifically, it's just a whole mix of different things uh, that I feel will be best for my channel. Uh, a lot of people think face cam will be better for my channel, I'll grow quicker, but uh, for that, you have to be relatable in that way as well. So I feel as though my way for my channel to keep the best growth as it is right now is at least at the current point in time uh, and probably for the near future as well. I can't see me having face cam on my channel. So I just want to put that out there. And I feel for Football Manager videos, it's better uh, to see everything on the screen as well. That's what I mean. I could keep explaining. There's about 10 reasons why I shouldn't do it, that, that, that I think. But of course, there would be positives as well. But uh, definitely... I think the positives of not having it is there's more of those. So hopefully you do understand that um, as well. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way for the people that were uh, hoping for that. But now we're going to get stuck into it. This is where the action starts. Bar City, uh, you can check out their stats. They're worth 700k. It's, it's not too bad for a team of this level. But yeah, you know all the drill. They came about 7th last season. Not too bad. Uh, getting close to promotion, that's kind of like how I did, uh, pretty much, uh, a few times. But, my managerial style, what I do here, I'm just going to suggest based on Bath, and leave it as the default things. Just leave it as default. You can't, well, you can, I'm just going to leave it like that, because like this is, this is a playthrough. Uh, the reason why I started this in FM14 is, to someone who wanted to start at this kind of level I want to, yeah, play it as they would, really. So I'm just going to leave the default settings how they are, and it's going to be, it's going to be hard, isn't it? We're suggesting uh, the experience based on the kind of team Bath is, and they're not very a uh, high reputation team, of course, uh, being this low. So my current stats is pretty poor. It's pretty bad to look at, to be honest. So yeah, we'll move on, and I'll just leave it in the middle, like I said, um, a good chance. Uh, that a lot of people do the similar kind of settings. But here we're just going to, you can see I've got my other saves there. Uh, so we'll do just bath. That's simple enough and we'll save that. Also, there is another important highlight. It says bath mark 125 year history. It says Bath City are celebrating a proud moment in the club's history this season. With the Bath Club having been founded in 1889 exactly 125 years ago so that is definitely some motivation to do well and it's a good start to mark my i guess a reign at bath so i'll leave all this managed subscriptions i'll i'll sort all that sub yeah subscription stuff out later and it's weird that we have already a match rearranged like yeah do we have matches soon yeah we got friendlies and it's a bit different now because it's Vanarama, so like just for the short name, it's like VCS. So that's a bit different uh, to the Skrill. Was it Skrill uh, last season? Uh, but either way, yeah, we've got a few friendlies coming up. So in these starting episodes, like, well, yeah, the introductory for, uh, first episode, I usually just like to go through my team 
That's usually what I like to do. And probably in the next episode, I'll go through transfers. And this being a playthrough, I do want to show a lot of things. Uh, but for now, simple enough. Um, if I just go overview of the team, uh, you'll be able maybe to leave tactic suggestions. What's going to be the best formation and all that kind of stuff. Um, and because this is lower level, I feel as though we might as well... Oh, I'm going to have to set this up as well, aren't we? We'll go positions for this and then physical just to see the condition. And then we'll go on career achievements and career stats. No, actually the other way around. Career stats goes up there and career achievement. That's yeah, that's how I've been doing it. You have to you have to do it again when you start a new save. Uh, but this guy right back 11 tackling. He's a young player, 20. But he's going to be promoted into the senior squad uh, because, as I said, this is we don't have a huge squad, like first-team squad. Uh, do you have any under-18s? No, we don't have any under-18s either. So, yeah, that was just one player in the under-21s. And this is what the team is looking like now. Uh, there is a few guys that are familiar faces, and that's going to be the exciting thing. There were some legends last year, and there's still only one goalkeeper in Jason Mallor. So we start with him, and we'll see what he looks like. He looks... He doesn't look that good, but i got to adjust my levels. <laughs> Definitely a uh, big difference compared to playing Premier League. Uh, communication, I suppose that is a good thing. Communication is, I think, that one of those things that go underrated uh, when people judge how good a goalkeeper is. When you think about it uh, in depth, uh, communication is very important. But the attributes I like, like reflexes, one-on-ones is only three. I remember letting this guy go because, yeah, he wasn't good enough. It must have been that. Like, one-on-ones, that you can't have that. That's too crap. I think one-on-ones is, like, the biggest attribute almost that's important. Like, when you think of a situation, goalkeeper one-on-one -on -one with the striker, and it being three, he's probably going to concede a lot of that. So we may go out to sign another goalkeeper. What's our funds like anyway? Uh, we've got about four hundred uh, pounds per week. So if we go to board, can we? We can't adjust it to less, like less than one k transfer budget. So we could probably make one signing, or maybe two, or some loan. There's there's a lot of different ways to manage. There's no right way to manage at this level. Like, of course, a lot of people are going to leave suggestions. I want to see suggestions, of course. Uh, but there's no right and wrong way. Uh, that's the thing. But yeah, Daniel Bowman, I showed you him before. What's his report like? Of course, we still got John Freegard. He's still the assistant manager. Uh, where are we? What's his judgment like? Uh, it's seven and six. It's not too amazing. Do you have anyone else? Jim Rollo, can he judge? What's his stats like? Staff attributes. Yeah, it's about the same. How about Billy Clark? Yeah, he's even worse uh, judging. He's good working with youngsters, 20. So that's pretty... How about youth? Yeah, head of youth development. Pfft, he's pretty poor for... We're not going to... Probably going to get many amazing regions coming through. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Chief Scout? Yeah, even our Chief Scout is poor judge. Oh, this is so... This is the challenge of playing at this level. So I'm going to have to, yeah, leave my own yeah, judgments on these players. But the potential, you can't really judge the potential of the player yourself. That is the problem. But just looking at him solely... Uh, at least for this level, he looks like a quick fullback that can tackle, and he's a good decision maker as well. So looking at those things, and you analyze it that way, like I said, he's pacey, he can tackle, and he's a good decision maker. Uh, he seems like he'll be an important player, but other attributes are pretty poor. Uh, next up, Dan Ball. I'm sure you all remember this guy. Uh, he's a great fullback. I'm not sure if he looks better or worse. I think he looks slightly worse than he did last season, uh, but he's still a key player for the team, as you can see, and he can increase a little bit more uh, because, yeah, he's still only 22. Uh, he's a good tackler, good passer, good crosser. He's naturally fit as well. He's got flair. So, yeah, he's a teamwork uh, kind of player, plays for the team, so that's real good. Andy Gallinar, experienced player, 29. He seems just average. Average, you look at the attributes, marking 9, tackling 9. See, 9 is not a bad attribute for this level. Uh, yeah, heading 11, so he'll be a key player. Can play yeah, multiple positions. Uh, very versatile, and his experience, no doubt, will help with that. And also, Pat Chiera, he's another interesting one. I actually signed him. I signed him for Bar City, and then he joined in real life. I remember, it must have been second or third season. Can't remember exactly. Unfortunately, his stamina is a bit low. He's definitely got potential to grow. So I think for this level, he's a good player, um, if not now, uh, in the future. But of course, we've got to be looking ahead of that. But Pacquiao, uh, yeah, he looks okay uh, for now anyway. Uh, Phil Walsh, 
30 year old a bit more experience uh, this guy is a player I would like personally at this level uh, he's got strength you can see 15 strength he's good in the air as well his tackling's only eight that may be something I'll work on training uh, we'll see about that a bit later uh, Jim Rollo um, I just showed you before he's got experience he's got 16 teamwork 17 leadership and 17 determination. He's going to be crucial because of that. But of course, he's really slow. That's what you get expected uh, from a 38-year-old. But hopefully, yeah, he can be uh, good in training also on the pitch when we need him as well. A lot of experience uh, there. Sakani Simpson, uh, right fullback. He's 30. Uh, he's 11 pace, 11 strength, not too bad. Good, good marker. Look at that. Marking 12, that's pretty good. His key attribute uh, really in terms of technical attributes. Yeah, he just, yeah, fullback. He'll do his job. Uh, Martin Slocum, is that? I'm not sure how you say his name. Please drop in your comments because I have no idea how to say that last name. But again, he's a good tackler. Got some decent mental attributes. Another one who's naturally a fit. And being naturally fit is important at this level, especially when you play a lot of games and low conditions uh, is something uh, that is often, that, that often will happen to you. Uh, you'll be in bad condition for your players and it's very bad. I remember that. I remember that specifically. So here, Ben Adelsbury, uh, you got to remember him. He was real good for us. Long shots. He scored a lot of goals. Uh, he's 22, so he can still increase. Look at his report. Five star. So yeah, he can be a good player. He looks really good. Not really. No, not really. I just remember him. He was so amazing for me. Uh, we'll see if he does the same next or oh, yeah, this time around. Uh, Chris Allen, I remember him as one of the better passers in the team. And you can see that with 11 passing, but it's still, it's nothing too amazing. But yeah, um, good passes is what you need. Uh, you always need good passes. Uh, Frankie Artis, uh, again, another center midfielder, 11 passing. Uh, Determine, that's good, but he's not outstanding. Uh, a lot of these players, you're going to have to wait. You've got to give them chances. You've got to give them chances because they could surprise you, especially with those hidden attributes uh, that you don't know of as well. They could have something special, so you do have to give them chances. Uh, also, Ross Stern, you've got to remember him. He's the amazing dribbler. 14 dribbling for this level is actually really, really good, and it wasn't really a surprise how well for me he did. Like He scored a lot of goals, and the dribbling yeah, was a key attribute for him. He was just so amazing uh, because of that. Uh, dribble pass players, um, and yeah, all of that. So next up, Ashley Kington. I don't think I remember him. He must be a new signing. Uh, he's actually got 12 passing, so he's probably our next best, really, uh, for a creative player. He played in this league last season. He played for Western Supermare. Uh, scored 10 goals, actually. Um, finishing 9, not too bad. Yeah, finishing 9, composure 12 for a center midfielder or center attacking mid. Uh, looks okay, but we've actually got heaps of strikers. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. We'll definitely have to play with two strikers. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll check them out right now. Andy Watkins, who actually starts transfer listed. I think I ended up selling him as well. I can't remember too correctly, but yeah, he didn't have a future. Um, I remember. He's got decent dribbling, finishing nine, composure 11. He could probably score, but again, uh, you're going to have to give him chances, uh, no doubt. Noah Keats, I remember this guy. He's He seems okay. He's pretty quick for this level, 11's got decent pace for this level, but technical attributes doesn't look too amazing, teamwork, see, you look at his attributes, doesn't look absolutely amazing, but the teamwork and the work rate could make him a good player for this level, you don't really know, you got to see how it's affected in the game this year, haven't really yet played a save like this yet, uh, David Pratt's uh, one of our better strikers because, yeah, high mental attributes, uh, good physically with his strength as well. Um, he looks okay uh, because of that. 10 finishings decent. First touch is good as well. So uh, definitely a keeper. Uh, for now, Chas Hemmings. Uh, he's a new name for me. Or oh, he's definitely good physically. And this is something at this level. Uh, players with good pace and good strength are really, really good. Physically good players are really good. Um, at this level, especially, I remember. But it could be different in this year's game. It's something you have to experiment with um, in each football manager game. But, yeah, I have a feeling he's going to be really good for us. Um, he looks like a likely type. And then to round it off, uh, of course, we would have Nick Makuti, <laughs> just to finish it off with a funny name. He doesn't have a face. Uh, did he just sign? He must have. Yeah, from Paulton. I don't see... Um, it's hard to know why he signed. I don't... Yeah, this lower league level, you don't have much knowledge about it. But... He looks okay. He and oh, does anyone remember this guy? If he's in the game, Lewis Putman. He was an amazing goal scorer. He is in the game. 
Is he at a club, though? Or he is. He dropped a lot. Didn't he have higher finishing than 13? It was like... Tw I don't want to say 20, but that's too high, it sounds. But he had really high finishing. And I remember he scored a lot for me. Look at that. And it's not... Yeah, it's not a lie. Look at that. 52 goals in 40 games. A super goal scorer. I'm surprised he doesn't get a chance at a higher level if his goal scoring rate is that high. Maybe his physical ability is what lets him down. But he can score. His penalties is the one that's really high, of course. Uh, but he's at a team already, so he's not going to be a signing for us. But I just wanted to point that out. So... I'll probably set out the tactics in the next episode. This, again, is just an introduction. So hopefully you enjoy this series. I really wanted to get this going now uh, because a lot of people want to see this. And yeah, it's not really... I suppose, in a way, it is going to affect my other series, but I'm not going to be stopping other series. But I just really wanted to get this going. And I just I want to see the response. I want to see the response from this video. So if you could hit at least 100 likes, I know you can do that, uh, just to support this series, it's easy, I know you can hit 100 likes, I usually, yeah, most videos hit 100 likes for me, but, yeah, um, I'm really excited to get this going, just want to get that out there, yeah, like I said, recording this today, this morning, I was actually planning to, like I said earlier in this video, um, I was planning to do face cam, so I'm just, still got that in my head, but, um, after thinking a lot of reasons, it's unfortunately is not going to be on my channel. Just thinking about why I started my channel and plus other reasons. I just want my videos to always be the the same kind of way. I don't want to change them too much. I want them to be the similar, just the thing I wanted to bring to YouTube, the style of videos. And if I added face cam, it'll it'll be so much different. I'm someone who doesn't like to change too much things. Like I really. I like doing what I do. I don't want to make too much changes into it. And because I always, yeah, when looking back on my channel, like when I finish YouTube or whatever, whenever that may be, um, yeah, I want to see a similar kind of thing with my videos. I want to be, I don't want to be straying away from what I wanted. So hopefully you do understand that. And this is going to be a super series. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, if you just want to see proof of that, check last year's one. Just check the amount of videos, 100 videos. But hopefully we can go a step further with this one. Uh, but anyway, if you have tried lower league management yourself, uh, drop your comments, any tips for this year, anything different from previous years. I'd love to see your feedback. Contrary to popular belief, <laughs> uh, people don't think I listen to feedback, but I actually do, um, at least when it's a nice comment in the way that it's not insulting towards myself. I always listen to constructive feedback, but if it's just insulting, you're just going to get yourself blocked. So... Um, I want my channel to be friendly. Again, one of those things. I want, yeah, because my, my parents actually watch my videos, and I'm sure they're not going to be happy with uh, seeing people uh, like insulting me. So that's a, well, that's one big reason um, I delete and block people who um, speak in that way, insulting me. Because yeah, that's a bad look, and we, no one wants to see that. So hopefully you understand that as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.